All rise. Wyman Court is now in session. Judge Hanson presiding. Please be seated. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Calling the case of Fizzy Sky, Dirty Water and Factories. Are all parties involved ready? We are ready. Your Honour, ladies and gentlemen, I appeal to all of you to lock up Mr. Factories. Ever since he arrived in our little town, I've been <coughs> coughing non-stop. <coughs> He has been producing thick and black smoke, causing our once beautiful sky to be smothered and dark. Your Honor, I was merely helping men making the things they want, <coughs> satisfying their needs. He is lying. Not only does his factories produce smoke, they are also discharging chemicals and pollutants into the river. Now, I am dirty, smelly, and reek of oil. The fishes are sick, the birds are gone, and animals can no longer drink from the river. They are disgusted by the dirty or contaminated water. Your Honor, I've been reducing the use of water in my factories. All throughout these factories are safe water posters and we install water thermals in all of the taps. Those discharge that they are talking about is a byproduct. Naturally, the only and cheapest way is to return the water to whence it came from. So this cannot be my fault. I am the victim of the lack of development in technology. Sir! That is an absolute lie. Before he came along, all was wonderful. Trees were growing and flowers blooming. The whole place was bustling with colours and light. Yes, you are the culprit who stopped the salmon from completing their run. You disrupt the food chain. You, you... Hey, hey, hey. I may a tool country, see? Who sent me orders to produce bags and clothes? It was judged. And who forgot to clean the water before discharging into the river? It was judged. And who told us to use the resources that cause pollutants and the thick black smoke? It's still judged. You, you are, are absolutely, absolutely right. right. Why, Why didn't we, we think, think about, about it earlier? So, if we come together and take it up with judge, if we get rid of judge, wouldn't the world be a better place? No, 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 listen. I've got a brilliant idea that will solve all the problems. You see, the problems came about because of the factories. I'll remove them and all the problems will be solved. What? After all you have done for you, you're gonna throw me aside just like a dirty old rat? I... I just know what I meant. I... I... I meant that will convert you into an eco-friendly... Uh, friendly... Yes? It's an eco-friendly resort. We will build solar plants on the rooftop to generate clean energy. We will also combat rainwater for general cleaning and watering of plants. The toilet systems will be fitted with integrated wash basins. That sounds like a great idea. To reduce pollution, let's treat the water before discharging them into the rivers. And more importantly, do not use harmful chemicals that pollute the air and waterways. That sounds like a wonderful plan. If the air and water quality improves, I'm confident that flora and fauna will find their way back here. Birds and animals will return to roam in this beautiful place. Wow, isn't that a picturesque image? I couldn't agree more. Tourism rate will increase in this awesome setting, yet balancing our needs on earth, men and animals. With careful maintenance, it will definitely be sustained for a long time to come. Hey! Where are you going? We are going to work with the locals to get started on this new and meaningful tourist attraction. Run along! There's no time to lose! I'm coming! Wait for me! Five years after the eco-friendly resort was built, tourism rate increased rapidly. Humans enjoyed the clean the organic food and the clean environment that the food that the resort provides. However, the tourists were not playing their part in protecting the environment. And now, we are back in the court again. Water, local and greenery. We I know why have you requested for this court hearing? Your Honour, Hazy, Factories and I worked hard to build this beautiful resort. But the humans are destroying it. Yes. The 
they are destroying the plant by plucking them from the wild and growing it in their rooms. They are also polluting the waterways by throwing rubbish and urinating in them. Now, many of our water resources are too polluted for consumption. Worst of all, they caught some of the wild animals and kept them as pets. Yes, the way these tourists behave is too irresponsible and disrespectful of our resort. They are also wasting our water supply by not turning on the tap while brushing their teeth, etc. All these minor actions might seem negligible, but it's taking a toll on us. At this rate, the eco-friendly environment we built will be destroyed. Should we punish the tourists? Let's not allow them to enter the resort. In this way, we can protect the resort. Let's do it! Yes, let's, let's, let's punish them! them. Is a bit harsh. I doubt the humans know what they did were wrong. 